First tonight, friends and family are mourning the loss of a young man who was found dead after jumping into a local reservoir. It's a story that was first breaking last night on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11 as rescuers searched the Slaterswill Reservoir in North Smithfield for 22-year-old Johnny Own. His body was recovered late last night and today loved ones have been gathering at the scene to pay their respects and come to loss with the grips. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau joins us now live from North Smithfield with the Blackstone Valley Mobile News. Room. The exact cause of death unknown tonight as investigators wait for the results of the autopsy, but for the loved ones of Johnny Un, it really doesn't matter. What they do know is that he's gone and they miss him. Dozens gathered on the stone wall next to the upper waterfall where 22-year-old Johnny Un jumped Wednesday. They left flowers, lighted incense, and consoled his girlfriend. Un left behind 10 brothers and sisters, including So Paul Sum. He was a really good kid who enjoyed life and took it day by day as it was. He was always good to his family, always there for his family when, he needed, when they needed him. Divers found the body about three hours after Un disappeared and tell us today he jumped in with six other friends, but he never came up. Brenda Carlton came to pay her respects today. And I've had some students on my school buses. One of them drowned one year. And to show her son the dangers of what has become a rite of passage for local residents. I feel sorry for the family, you know. You can't swim here. You can't. My youngest is 13, and he's here with his friend today. And I just wanted to show them the spots where the kids do swim. There's three different spots, and you can't. You can't swim in the res. Coming up tonight at 6, more from the family of Johnny Un as they gather at the reservoir and lay flowers in his memory. Live with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom in North Smithfield, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.